This is a presentation for the paper, Doc, Deep Open Classification of Text Documents. The paper is authored by Lei Shu, Hu Xu, and Bing Liu from University of Illinois at Chicago. This paper solves the open word classification problem. Open word classification is different from traditional learning task. Traditional learning makes the closed word assumption. It means that the classes in testing have been seen in training. There is no new class in testing. However, this classic learning paradigm is difficult to function in the real world with an open environment. For example, social media and self-driving cars. The traditional learning paradigm cannot recognize new things or classes by itself. Thus, it cannot learn new things or classes. Learning in the open world breaks the closed world assumption. It assumes that the classes in testing may not be seen in training. Let us define the open world classification problem formally. In the training date, there are datasets from M seen classes from L1 to LM. During testing, the testing data come from M seen classes and also from class L0. Class L0 indicates data not from M seen classes or not appeared in training. Class L0 may contain more than one class. Thus, besides classification, an open world classifier also needs to reject test instances that are not in classes from L1 to LM. In this paper, we propose a novel method based on deep learning for open text classification, DOC for short. The proposed method markedly outperforms state-of-the-art existing approach from both the text classification and image classification fields. The idea is that we build a multi-class classifier with a one versus rest final layer of sigmoid functions to reduce the open space risk further for rejection. We tighten the decision boundaries of sigmoid functions with Gaussian fitting. The open space risk means that the classifier should not cover too much empty space. The architecture of DOC is that, firstly, it uses a convolutional neural network as the base to get document representation. Then, augment it with a one versus rest sigmoid layer as the final output layer. Finally, adopt Gaussian fitting to reduce the open space risk. Please note that other existing deep models like recurrent neural network, LSTM, may also be adopted as the base for document representation. This picture shows the overall networks. Let us focus on the layers before the output layer in this slide. First layer is the embedding layer, which embeds words in a document into dense vectors. And then, the convolutional layer performs convolution over dense vectors using different filters of varied sizes. Max over time pooling layer selects the maximum values from the results of the convolution layer to form a feature vector. After pooling layer, 
we use two fully connected layers and one intermediate ReLU activation to reduce feature vector to M dimensional vector. The final layer is one versus rest layer. It is consisted by M sigmoid functions for M sin classes. The I sigmoid function corresponds to class Li. The model's loss function is the summation of all log loss of the M sigmoid functions over the training data. In the loss function, M indicates M sin classes. N indicates the total number of training examples. For each sigmoid function of each training example, we get its binary cross entropy, belonging and not belonging to class Li. The summation over M sigmoid functions and N training examples is the total loss. The reason we choose one versus rest as the output layer instead of softmax is the rejection capability requirement. Softmax does not have the rejection capability because the probability of prediction for each class is normalized across all thin classes. One versus rest allows rejection capability. For I class, one versus rest layer takes all training examples with label Li as the positive examples, and all the rest of the examples whose label is not Li as negative examples. Let us reinterpret the prediction of M sigmoid functions to allow rejection. The testing instance does not belong to class Li if the predict probability from I sigmoid function is smaller than a threshold Ti. When this instance is all predict probabilities are smaller than their corresponding thresholds. The instance is rejected. Otherwise, the instance predicted class is the one with the highest probability. We already know that for I class, one versus rest layer takes all training examples of label Li as positive examples, and all the rest of examples whose label is not Li as negative examples. The natural probability threshold for every sigmoid function is 0.5. However, the threshold of 0.5 does not consider potential open space risk, covering too much space with almost no training data points. The picture shows a sigmoid curve for class Li. The horizontal axis is the input of I sigmoid functions. The vertical axis is the probability that the instance belonging to I class. Positive examples probabilities are very close to one. They are the green plus signs in the pictures and the negative examples probabilities are very close to zero. Please see the red minus signs in the pictures. Thus, there is a large open space between them. Unseen class data's probabilities may lay close to negative examples and sometimes greater than 0.5. See those orange cycles which represent unseen class test data. A threshold much greater than 0.5 is called for. 
we use the idea of outlier detection to find a better threshold. The picture shows the probability count of class LI training data points. The horizontal axis is the probability. The vertical axis is the count. Each blue bar shows the count of positive training examples in a predicted probability range. Most positive training examples' predicted probabilities are very close to one. Very few of them have predicted probabilities smaller than 0.8. It means that positive examples with the probability threshold Ti much greater than 0.5. We assume the predicted probabilities of all positive training data of each class form half of the Gaussian distribution, with mean equal to 1, as the red curve shown in the picture. Then estimate the standard deviation for class Li. Set the probability threshold Ti equal to the max between 0.5 and 1 minus alpha times standard deviation. Usually, alpha is 3 in outlier detection. Please aware that different class Li can have a different probability threshold Ti. We use two datasets for experiment. 20 news groups have 20 non-overlapping classes. 50 class reviews contains Amazon reviews of 50 types of products. For each class, randomly sample 60% of documents for training, 10% for validation, and 30% for testing. We vary the number of training or same classes for experiment. We use 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100% classes for training, and all classes for testing. Using 100% classes for training is the same as the traditional closed word classification. Our evaluation method is a macro F1 score over M plus 1 classes. The 1 class is for rejection. We compare our method DOC with CBSSVM which is the latest method published in NLP. OpenMax is the latest method published in computer vision, and DOC with the default probability threshold of 0.5. It does not use Gaussian fitting. Here is the hyperparameter setting used in DOC. From the results of two datasets, you can see DOC outperforms state-of-the-art methods, CBSSVM and OpenMax. We proposed a novel deep learning-based method called DOC for open text classification. Using the same text dataset and experiment settings, we showed that DOC performs dramatically better than the state-of-the-art methods from both the text and image classification domains. We also believe that DOC is applicable to images. Thank you for watching. Comments and questions are very welcomed through email.